National Geographic aired an episode titled, Evolution of the Eye. But the one thing they did not show us, was the evolution of eyes. Instead, they showed the many different kinds of eyes, in animals that are, all fully formed. They correctly stated that none of the eyes evolved from the, others. All fossils found have fully formed eyes, in the correct place. They also have, two for depth perception. I have eyes, but they are hidden inside my skull, until the eye sockets evolve. Hopefully, they will line up perfectly with my eyeballs. If eyes evolved, there would be millions of examples like me in the fossil record, and among, the living all around us. Now, I have evolved one eye. Do we see examples like this in the fossils or living today? Of course not. Here is a trilobite. Supposedly, this creature and thousands of others, suddenly appeared in the fossil record, with no transitional forms whatsoever. Note the complex eyes. Also, there is a complex brain behind those complex eyes. This is the greatest gap of missing links in the fossil record. This alone justifies throwing out the theory of evolution. Evolution says we evolved, piece by piece, over millions of years. So, did the eye sockets evolve, millions of years, before the eyeballs? No, of course not. This is nonsense. I have eyeballs, but I do not have eyelids yet. I cannot blink, or close my eyes to sleep. Millions of individuals would have to live like this, for millions of years, until eyelids evolved. Nonsense. In the beginning, there were no flowers. Then suddenly, all flowers appeared fully formed. There were no half a daffodils. Fully formed bees appeared also, isn't evolution amazing? Evolutionists publish charts like these, as if they were established fact. However, look at this down here. This connecting line says, hypothetical, evolutionary origin. The other line says fossil evidence. However, that also is a lie. They group these fossils together because they look alike. That does not prove evolution, but actually changing from one thing to another, would prove evolution. Only fully formed individuals are shown. The lines connecting them represent, millions of transitional forms, yet not one is shown. If these charts are true, then all these species were mating with each other, for millions of years. Then, just when they were all fully formed, they were blocked from mating with, other species. This is another simple fact that should have evolution theory thrown into the trash. The Bible says that all living things, male and female, were created in six days, and that they could only reproduce after their kind. That actually does fit with what we see. Otherwise, how many millions of years was it, between the first male, and the first female? When we scientists need to know the age of a fossil, we send a sample to a lab. These labs use radiometric dating methods, which involve at least a dozen false assumptions. Since we pay them for this service, they are under great financial pressure, to give us the date that we want. In fact, the first question on their form is, how old do you think it is? They will then use only the dating method, that will return dates within the desired range. We will actually demonstrate this, in the full version of this movie. Here is one example of false dates provided from these labs. Mount St. Helens erupted in the 1980s. Yet, according to a geochronology lab test, it actually erupted from 350,000 to 2.8 million years ago. If there really was such a catastrophe as the global flood is described in the Bible, well, that would leave a mark. There would still be global evidence we can see today. For example, there would be billions of fossils buried alive on all continents. There would be sedimentary rock layers deposited by water worldwide. As required by the global flood theory, there are in fact billions of fossils buried alive rapidly, on all continents. In fact, there would be virtually no fossils found today, if there had not been a global flood in the past. Because, nowhere in the world today, 
are billions of fossils being formed. Nowhere are even millions of fossils being formed. Not even thousands are being formed. And not even hundreds are being created. No new fossils means either there was a unique global flood event, or there was millions of years of massive fossilization, then it quit suddenly. An organism must be rapidly buried and preserved in order to become fossilized. Here is an example of a polystrate tree fossil. This tree trunk spans layers several meters thick, indicating the layers were all deposited rapidly. Yet, evolutionists tell us that these layers were deposited slowly, over millions of years. Also, if there was an actual global flood, then we should have some historical reference to this event, other than just from the Bible. In fact we do. From every continent, and in hundreds of languages, written and verbal, there are stories that tell of a global flood. Most of them are similar to the biblical account. To the contrary, if we evolved piece by piece, we would have written and verbal accounts, over millions of years, describing this transitional process. Instead, human history goes back just a few thousand years. And just 150 years ago, Darwin suggested his theory of evolution. As a little boy, I believed in evolution as taught in schools, and promoted, in all the media. Therefore, I was an atheist because, no creator was needed. As a young man, I was shocked to discover fatal flaws in evolution. Thousands of people, just like me, have rejected evolution, after examining the evidence, for themselves. Some even taught evolution in schools. I have written a screenplay titled, Missing Universe, Gods of Evolution. So many new screenplays are written each year that it is extremely difficult to get noticed. I created this preview video, in the hope it would inspire a courageous team, to complete this project. If you enjoyed this preview, and you are a motion picture professional, please contact me. Thank you very much. I had faith in the scientists and assumed they had the evidence for their claims. We must see the actual transitional forms changing from one to another. Evolutionists have long been claiming that whales evolved from cows. I've just discovered the theory of evolution. We don't need to fake the real fossils. Who would buy them? How many millions of years was it between the first male and the first female? In fact, the first question on their form is, how old do you think it is? Evolution and creation are absolutely opposite theories. All these populations continue living together for millions of years.